everyone and welcome back to this week not welcome back I mean welcome to hello everyone and welcome to this week's Disney throwback diary which is day 10 and 11 I believe and believing in this case was truth If you haven't seen the last Disney throwback diaries, you can go and see the rest of them on my channel in the playlist thingy on my channel now. If not, totally fine. So I'm going to go straight in with this week's diary and today we are in Wet and Wild. Now before I read the diary, I should say that I actually wasn't upset at all about this water park being closed down because I, oh, there's either a ghost in my room or my alarm clock moves by itself because that's what that was if you're wondering. If you want, I'm gonna continue. So yeah, Wet and Wild, I just didn't really, I didn't see the point in it, it didn't have a theme. Something that Orlando theme parks and water parks and attractions do really well is, my battery's dying, brilliant. I'll be back in about 20 minutes once my battery's back. Actually, I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna try and get through this video so I can edit it and upload it for you to watch. So I'm gonna stop staggering myself like I am at the moment. So anyway, here is 13 year old me reading as, no, nope, I'm not 13 year old me, I'm 21 year old me, that's what I meant. So here's 21 year old me reading as 13 year old me, I think I said that right, Wet and Wild. Today was our 10th day in Orlando and we went to Wet and Wild. We had McDonald's breakfast and went straight to International Drive which was where the water park was located. The queues were huge for all of the rides here so me and my dad got some fast passes. Fast passes? I didn't know they did fast passes at Wet and Wild. Even though we only got to do three rides as a big storm started, we made our way out and back home and then we went to Magic Kingdom. Again, it's got T-T-O-O, -O, as I normally do. We got souvenirs for everyone back home, watched Spectro Magic and, oh, Spectro Magic, I don't remember it being called that. Apparently it was. And also a fantastic firework display called Wishes. Ah, I think that was the first time I ever saw Wishes. It really was magical, but it was so busy to get out of Magic Kingdom. It was a, it was a short but sweet day. And it was a short day. Quite thankfully, actually, because my battery is low, as I said. But yeah, Wet n Wild was never a fan of it. Was not upset when it was closed. I just thought it wasn't great. But a part that I do really love, which brings me on to day 11, is Animal Kingdom. I just think Animal Kingdom is so well themed. I think when I'm walking in Animal Kingdom, I don't feel like I'm in Florida at all. Not that that's a problem, because I do love Florida. South Florida, if you're upset by my previous comment. I do really like you. But yeah, I'm just gonna read day 11 now. So today was our 11th day in Orlando and we went to Animal Kingdom. We woke up at about the same time as normal and my sister and my dad were hinting about what their surprise were as me and my mum booked a surprise dinner at Chef Mickey for them. Anyway, we left home and had McDonald's breakfast again. That was not good not good. This was tasty. We made our way to Animal Kingdom. As soon as we got there, we went to, we went on Prime of, Prime, we went on Prime Evil World, which was, a, which was a rubbish version of Spimble Wizard at Alton Towers. That, I hate myself for saying that because I love Prime Evil World. I take it back. 13 year old Bradley, you're a stupid little kid. After that, we went on Dinosaur, which was good. I li literally, every time I go on Dinosaur, I get so scared. I'm like, I'm, I freak out. Like, more than if I went on, like, a hor into a horror maze or something, Dinosaur scares me a lot. Um, next, Carly River Rapids, and last, Expedition Everest, which we went on twice. About, oh, I have to say that Expedition Everest, I don't know what's happening with my dialogue today. But Expedition Everest. Expe Expedition, Expedition, Expedition Everest. Expedition Everest, we went on twice, and that's probably because it's incredible. I just think, I probably would say, it's definitely my top three rides at Disney World. I don't want to claim it as number one because Space Mountain, you're close to my heart, but. About 12.30 p.m., we made our way back to the villa and we got changed and got picked up by a Cadillac limousine. Is that even a thing? Apparently it is. Well, apparently according to 13 year old Bradley it is. It was gorgeous. The bad side to it was having another family in the limo with us, but they weren't too bad. Oh god, what a charm I was. The, fam the family were nice. If this family ever sees this video, I didn't dislike you, I didn't hate you. It's just like, you just want that like exclusiveness but exclusiveness means dollar dollar but no it was absolutely fine it was really nice actually and the good part was that we on the way there we were first in the limousine and on the way back we were last in the limousine so the other family like had to put up with us sorry i was probably okay i bought a pluto soft toy for that day he was very very um friendly kind charming I said charming twice in this vlog not gonna do it again we got dropped off by the limo at downtown disney for one hour and a half i bought a cd from america that isn't released in england wrong you silly little child i remember crying to my parents because i really wanted the cd and they said it's probably out in the uk and i made up some stupid story about how it's not released in the uk and i paid over what i would have paid here for it like 
I think I paid like twenty dollars, and it was just basically all the Disney Channel people like Demi Lovato, Nick Jonas, Ashley Tisdale, all singing random songs. And I don't even think I ever listened to the CD. I just wanted it because it had their faces on it, as a child does. It's really good. The limo dropped us off at Chef Mickey. Me and Court got our picture taken and autographed by Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy, and Pluto. We went back home in the limo, and everything was great spelled with an H like a rebel but yeah just to like just to clarify Animal Kingdom is probably no it's not my favorite Magic Kingdom is my favorite you see how conflicted I get about these things but if I was this conflicted about my exams at school maybe I would have been a better student even though I was a pretty good student never had a detention never had a mark of my record card can you tell I'm talking very quickly because I'm scared the battery's gonna go out and every time I see that battery light flash on my camera I'm like you're gonna die on me right now but you're not I will defeat you camera but yes Animal Kingdom I love it so much I love Animal Kingdom I love I love all of them I love all of them I think they're great and Chef Mickey was really cool too but I don't know if I'd go back I think it was a bit of a it was nice as a kid like to have all the character breakfast maybe I'll go if I'm like a cool uncle or, or a dad one day forget I ever said that because I'm not thinking about that right now never no for now I'm just me and my pussy guy oh god ow ow Fail to the max. He's gone to sleep now, he's fine, don't worry. He didn't fall on the floor, didn't break his pelvic phone. <laughs> didn't break his pelvic phone like my last cat did when she got run over twice. Very unfortunate. Can I just say that I think it's really sad that people on the road have to stop for dogs, but they don't stop for cats when they run them over. I think that's like, I'm a cat person, like billion percent. I love dogs, I love animals in general, but cats, you, you got me. You've got me cats. I'm gonna stop talking now because I finished this story about 20 minutes ago, so. I know it's been pretty speedy today, but I just wanted to make sure that I get it done before the camera not doesn't doesn't challenge up, so. Thank you so much for coming along. If you did enjoy this video, please go and click the subscribe button down below because I would really, really appreciate it. And please click the like button too if you liked it. If you didn't like it, there's no dislike button there. It's all an illusion. It's all in your head. You don't have to click that button. That's just mean. I mean, it is there really, isn't it? But still don't click it. Thank you so much for watching this video today. And I hope to see you again soon for next week's video. Or whenever video, like videos I post in the meantime, you can watch them too or not. Anyway, thank you so much again. I'm going to stop saying thank you so much again. But I'll see you soon. And bye for now. I don't know why my voice goes so high when I say that. But I'm going to say it one more time. Bye for now. Still weird.